it's official. I've become that absentee uncle that you only see on holidays that shows up to the party mad loud because he hears a little bit of music, starts giving shout outs to invisible people that ain't saying shit to him and looks like this all the time before even sipping a drink. This is a motherfucker that needs to be put in a home prior to his 40s or just needs to be put down. I have become that. But I'm going to be put in a nursing home early, smelling amazing. I got the new Amouage fragrances that were sent to me along with everybody else, and I'm gonna give you my impressions. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can chit chat about the new new before they put me down. Bless it, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I got the new Amouage hitters. We're talking about material and boundless. The shits that are going to be sent to every reviewer that has any kind of influence whatsoever. Me being one of them. Not to mention <laughs> the sexiest. Speak facts. Now, Amouaj reached out to me as well as a bunch of other people. They were like, yo, we're gonna send you some shit. I was like, cool, send away. When I finally got the package, I opened it up, dope presentation. Here's pretty much what it looked like. They sent me this joint with the two samples. I didn't get full bottles. And the cool shit is they sent kind of like the breakdown of the raw materiales, that raw material, right? Super dope, who cares? It's all about the juice, right? Bet. So when I started doing a little bit of research on these fragrances, because I don't do too much research, it gives me hives, I found out that one of my favorite perfumers, Cecile Z, I believe the last name is Zarkarian, but Cecile Z, whenever she touches something, generally, it's fuego. I love that shit, and I don't even be looking up perfumers like that, but whenever she touches, I don't know, whatever she be doing, that magic that she do, just tickles my nose ever so right. I heard she was touching that material joint, and I was like, mm, I'm digging it before I even smelled it. True bias at its finest. Bam. I started smelling both fragrances and I started with material. Now, when I saw the picture of the material bottle, my shit was like, mm, this, is this a woman's fragrance? Because the bottle presentation reminds me of the Amouage Reflection Woman that my wife has, which generally the women line are a little bit smaller, square with that little acorn nipple thing on top, right? This joint is not not, not gender specific. And if this shit is gender specific, then I'm a part-time female. Cause this smells <laughs> recalculous. This is lit, lit, lit. I'm gonna hit you with the note breakdown again. No cap, just cause I'm watched sent me samples. Doesn't mean you automatically get a pass. Believe it or not, at the end of the day, I'm not a reviewer, so it don't matter. I'm a dude with a camera, because if you want to call me a reviewer, that would require me to review something, and I don't review shit. I just sit in front of a camera and talk out my ass 24-7. So if that's a reviewer, cool, call me that. Now, the no breakdown for material is Elemi, Patchouli, Madagascar Vanilla, Benzoin, Tonka Bean, Incense, Gaia Wood, Agar Wood, Labdanum, and Osmanthus. Who cares? Cool, but does the shit smell fire? Absolutely. This is a luscious, beautiful, harmonic symphony composed by an epic producer. Let me tell you something. These notes, right? You're not listening to any note breakdown that is absolutely jaw-breaking record. Like, oh shit, I never heard, where's that from? Is that from the asshole of a gorilla in the middle of the, like that? You're not hearing nothing new. But at the end of the day, if I'm a beat maker and I send my beat to 10 people, it takes a hell of a producer to be able to compile the proper vocalist to mix and master the song beautifully. The vocals gotta be on point. The harmonies gotta hit. You gotta have the right ad-libs. You gotta put the proper person with the song. 15 people got that beat. It doesn't mean because 15 people got that beat, it's always gonna be a hit. It's how it's composed. It's how it's put together. It's the magic behind the ingredients, the hands that mold it, that make it what it is. And material has got some hands. You know what I'm saying? We talking about Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore hands, molding and shit. You know what I'm saying? Before she got her titty, this is gonna be a full bottle cop for me at retail. Fuck 
fucking liar. I'm lying. You know I'm not buying it at retail. I'ma definitely wait till the price drops. However, I'ma get me a, this is a bottle where the vanilla notes in here are like buttery churned vanilla ice cream, like some high end shit. Talking the shit that's churned up in the top of the mountain. We're not talking about Ben and his cousin Jerry. We're talking about some, mm. the Incense is just pure homage incense. Beautiful, it engulfs you. It just cuddles you in an elegant way. This fragrance is pure sex appeal with a beautiful round melody that it's it's beautiful. So again, the notes are not complex. It's all about how it's made and what it does on your skin and on my skin, that bitch sings. We talking about Dim the Lights, D'Angelo before he got fat. We talking about Sade in her delicious days and she can still get it. Listen to me, this one. Hmm. Problema, Cecile, you killed it. Fuck that is free. Fuck that everybody and they mama got, I don't care. And if you fuck with me, you don't care either. You know I'm gonna give you my gaga at the end of the day and this is fuego. Now let's jump over to Boundless. Now I know what you're thinking, Cuba, you gassed up material so much, there's no way it's gonna be a double-double hit, right? Well, this one, has nothing to do with this one personally, in my opinion. They have their complete separate identities, but both have beautiful aspects to it. So I'm gonna hit you with the notes of this joint. We're talking blood orange, cardamom, ginger, mmm, alemi, bourbon vanilla, benzoin, cacao, tobacco, myrrh, gayak wood, incense, oak moss, vetiver, papyrus, and patchouli. Now I'm gonna tell you right off cap that blood orange is fuego, bright, tart, yet sweet, juicy, live, and vibrant. And when I get it in the opening, I'm getting hints of that vetiver right from Rip. Although it's listed at the base, I'm getting it on the opening. That's what I interpret on my nose. I also interpret that that tobacco and myrrh combination give it a little bit of a hideish funk. And I feel some senses of cumin here. Kind of that little, little bit of a, a funk factor that Amouage likes to put in their diesel fragrances. I feel that in this joint. But let me tell you, this is no slouch, my guy. For me, material is it. But this is not far behind at all. This actually adds the brightness and the freshness and the citrusy component that material does not have at all. Material is like buttery. This one has sharpness, it has some depth, it has body in this shit. It has amouage DNA as well, but the other side of amouage, maybe more so the traditional route that amouage goes with their more diesel, rustic, tobacco, bang, incense, bang, Middle Eastern tinge, bang. Then you add some brightness and you add that humany factor in there. And then you got that little bit of a sharp, delicious crystallized ginger that I get from this joint. Boundless was more of a powerhouse in performance for me because this one did like 11 hours on my skin. Like I'm itching right now. That's how long that shit lasted on me. It has a lot, a lot of staying power on my skin. I don't know about yours, because you smell. Brightness, blood orange, ginger, and funk is what I get from this fragrance, Amouage Funk. And if anybody does funk right, it's Amouage. Amouage has that funk factor that just does good on pH levels once it's dry. You have to let it dry on your skin for that shit just to create magic, and it really does create a bright, funky, dark fragrance with bass and body. This shit is a full, bodied glass of wine. This isn't like your fucking yellow tail or your box joint. You know what I'm saying? This is full body advanced levels of a video game. Like this smells crazy, but I'm gonna be honest. What this does to me is I want to look at myself in the mirror and pleasure myself too myself. Like, that's how delicious for me this is. Like, for me, I'ma buy both, because this has that amouage kick that I really appreciate, and I liked what it did on my skin on full dry down. When all the bullshit is over and all the honeymoon is done and it's completely dry down and you sat down with your mate and you seen her true color, she's farted in front of you and used the bathroom with the door open, that's when you know it's true love, Boundless does that. It sheds all its layers once it's completely dried down on your skin. It shows you its true colors, and I like what it does on my skin. But I love what this shit does to my skin. So for me, both of them completely separate, completely different. But for me, both of them are absolutely ball spares. Amouage, you just, 
I feel like you just reinvigorated yourself into the game. Like you just you just came back and just you know just hit him with a little bit of a ooh tate quieto, go to sleep right here in the medulla, <laughs> take a nap. But before I spray boundless material is got, I got to put the leg, I can't put the leg up because I got no pants on, but I gotta put the leg up so you can you know get the feel, mm, get the feeling. And then just go on the left test with the boundless. Bing bang. I don't know what the prices are. I don't look up half the shit. I'll put the link in the description below. You could decide to cop them now. You could wait till the prices drop a little bit. Whatever you wanna do, I don't give a fuck. I'm just letting you know right now, these two, fire. Especially this one. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, that crazy uncle that needs to be put in a home early. Yo, bring that in short. Smooches. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would... <laughs>